And I'm asking our federal agencies to stand ready to provide assistance to state-level efforts to monitor and address any price gouging at the pump. Nobody should be using this situation for financial gain. That's what the hackers are trying to do. That's what they're about, not us. That's not who we are. The White House and several states sending a warning to any company price gouging at the pump after the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack. My next guest is leading the charge in his state, South Carolina's Republican Attorney General Alan Wilson. Good to see you, General. Have you seen price gouging in your state? Well, as of Friday of this week, we've gotten about 760 reports of price gouging. But in South Carolina, the definition of price gouging, gouging is when the price is raised to an unconscionable level. And that is something that we have to go look at. You know, obviously, in the free market, when you have a shortage in supply and the demand is up, you're going to have an increase in price. That's normal. Uh, but it's when those prices go to an unconscionable level. That is something we will determine probably over the next few weeks as to if anyone's violated it. Well, that, that, that's a relative term, unconscionable yes. level. Uh, I'm just wondering what that would mean if, if say, prices is, is generally $3.04. Uh, we just saw that. $3.04 is the general price level of a gallon. Uh, what would an unconscionable level be defined as if you have $3 well, as your starting point? Unconscionable to one person might be, you know, free market price to another person. So, so I don't want to nail down a number. Obviously, if someone were charging $15 a, ga a gallon, that would obviously be price gouging, but you know, three, three fifty, four dollars. I mean, obviously, it's all relative compared to where you are in the country and the, the demand and the supply. You know, I will say this: I want to give a shout out to the petroleum marketers and distributors and the convenience store owners in South Carolina and the associations that represent them. They have really been so good at helping us keep account of this, in addition to the citizens of our state. Um, so we have such great relationships with them, and with, without their input, we wouldn't be able to track these as, as, as right. good as we have been. It's so tough to be on the front line of these of these gas lines because, as we saw, their fights breaking out. I mean, you know, you you these are real warriors who are who are trying to keep things calm and and collected at at, at the pumps. I'm just wondering though, how do you if you do find out there is one of we're looking now at video. I'm sure you've seen this is one of the fights in North Carolina. Uh, that broke out between two motors. Uh, how do you prosecute uh, those who you do think are price gouging? What what specific laws are you using, and and are you working with the federal government on this? So South Carolina has a state law uh, for price gouging that goes into effect when there was an abnormal disruption in the market, like there was with the hacking, that lasts for 14 days. It can be extended if I choose to. Uh, but it can be extended. But that allows it's a misdemeanor crime in South Carolina that's a that has up to a 30 day uh, prison sentence or jail sentence and a thousand dollar fine. So it is a misdemeanor crime. And again, our goal is not to go out and punish people who are increasing the prices. Our goal is to try to prevent rogue people from going out there and exploiting this situation for personal gain. Obviously, prices are going to rise. They're going to rise probably more than the average person wants them to, but that doesn't necessarily make it unconscionable. But our goal is, is to try to deter those rogue individuals from trying to exploit the situation. We'll obviously to collaborate and cooperate with federal authorities if, if they need to. Finally, I, I'm just wondering if you're concerned that the shortages might be here to stay. The shortages and the high prices could be here to stay beyond the immediate problems that Colonial had. What do you think? Well, obviously, I, I believe that this is an isolated incident due to the, the hacking. I don't, I can't, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict what's going to happen in the future. But I am hopeful, from what I've been hearing, that this will, the supply will return, the distribution channels will open up. They already have, and that we will slowly start to return to normal very soon. That is, that is what my hope is. That's what I believe. But what I want people to understand, if you're listening to this right now, is for people to remain calm, not to overreact. Uh, this will pass and things will return to normal, whether it's in a few days or a few weeks. But we will get through this together. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a tough time, though. Alan Wilson, South Carolina's attorney general. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for coming here. Have a good weekend. Appreciate it.